Hey guys, feeding the horses. <laughs> I'm not good at the selfie stuff, so forget that. How are y'all doing? It's an odd day today. Really cool day. The sunset's orange. Like a pink orange. It's not very good on my phone, but if y'all can see it, it's pretty amazing. I like it. So, there's been lots of confirmations, a lot of crazy stuff going on. I'm in, really enjoying what God's doing. It's heavy hearted and it's all that, all that, but it is what it is. So, cookie! Um, you know, I'll do a prayer in a minute, but I mostly want to feed, feed them. It makes me happy to feed these guys and girls, or girl and guy. I wish the donkeys would come get some. I miss the donkeys. Oh, these things are huge. Cookie. Ah. <laughs> so, once again, it's that whole tear it up. I'm getting the word. I'm going to tear it up. I think it's instinctual for them to rip at it like that. Because they usually pick it off the ground. And I read up a little bit on horses. They're pretty dominant. Or there's always one dominant horse. And that horse will basically claim the food first. So Cookie's number one over here, clearly. Hey. She's getting it how she lives, guys. Girls, ladies, gentlemen. Um... There's so many things I could talk about. Or there's so many confirmations. There's so many scriptures to go over. I don't even know how to keep up anymore, basically. I really don't. I have no idea how to keep up. It's getting ridiculous. In a good way, right? Of course. It's just nuts. Like, <laughs> I'm so glad, uh, what is it, Shauna and Michelle are in my life now. Um, really godly women. And... We need more warriors like them in this world, so there's a lot of warriors that are starting to line up. Uh, we're going to have special prayer for uh, a person in, what was it, Morris's life? I think it's a, a child of a sister of a friend kind of deal, and they're having, uh, ever since Easter, they've been having seizures. And we've got someone who's committed to a mental institution for bipolar disorder. I want to pray for them. We have uh, prideful people that are in the way that are basically afflicting others, trying to assert their dominance and their uh, power and authority when they're actually in error, especially scripturally speaking. We've got people hiding behind the word and misusing it to suit their own purposes, which that's clearly not ever a good thing to do. Um, there's so many things to pray for. There's a kid, Mighty Max, who's battling all kinds of ailments. Most of most of it's, I think, due to cancer. I'm not really 100% on the kid's story. We've got a kid, I think his name's Sailor, who also has, a, I think, a condition with his liver with cancer. We've got a pastor who's got another... I mean, basically liver issue with cancer. I've uh, got people, there's some people I know that are having blood clots that are younger than me. We've got some people who, what else? Um, brain aneurysms that may or may not have popped. We've got people healing from brain surgeries. We've got people getting viral pneumonia where it's coming back a second time worse. We've got lungs getting filled with liquid, which is what pneumonia is. We've got uh, cancer in the lungs, spreading to the bones, spreading through the blood. we got uh, terminal cancer, late stage cancer. we got cancer treatments. Sometimes the chemo and radiation is worse than the actual cancer itself. So, you know, if we're eating the word and we're proclaiming these things, guys, it's going to generate some momentum. It just might take a while. So we have to persevere and be patient and just continue on. we got to keep on keeping on, basically. Um, I'm not sure the number of days yet. I'm going to have another video later 
tonight. I've got some plans. And in those plans, I'm going to discuss the uh, ritual that the bad guys have done and that what we've done to balance that out or what God has instructed me to do to kind of beat them at their own game in a godly, holy way. Uh, I'm not any holier than thou or you or her or him. I'm just a humble servant. I am but a humble servant, serving the servants, these beasts of burden. You know, the Rolling Stones have a song called Beast of Burden. Once again, I don't advocate secular music, but that was always one of my favorite songs of theirs, which I'm not a fan of the Rolling Stones, never have been. Um, I grew up with the Beatles, and knowing what I know now, I don't know if I can be a fan of those guys. Um... So anyways, long story short, the Beast of Burden song, it's a catchy tune, and he, the main chorus is, I'll never be your Beast of Burden, never ever be your Beast of Burden. Well, these horses are literal Beasts of Burden, and I, mean, I don't think these guys bear much of a load over here, <laughs> but uh, this country was built on the back of a horse, and... I've always appreciated that about horses, but I never really cared much for horses. There was a girl in school, she was always like the horse girl that wore the horse t-shirts and had the horse folders and everybody made it. Oh man, that snot right in my face, bro. Or sister. <laughs> oh well. Um, ah! That was my fingertip. <laughs> uh, where was I? Talk about losing your train of thought. Oh, the horse girl, right? Yeah. I never made fun of her, and I didn't like people making fun of her, but I did think it was rather odd how much she really enjoyed the horse, horses, considering, you know, we lived in the city and you couldn't even have a horse. Um, but long story short was, I now appreciate the horses in a way that I could identify with that horse, ow, a horse girl, <laughs> and it's awesome. Like, I wish I would have learned what she knew about horses, because she had probably the most wisdom of anybody growing up in elementary school. She probably knew more than the teachers knew about horses, so we gotta find wisdom, guys, wherever it's at, and, and draw from it whoever has the source, and then find out the godly overlay, right? So, Fool's Day, April Fool's Day, uh, we don't have to be anybody's fool. All Fool's Day, right? Uh, I don't mind being a fool in the kingdom of heaven, because that's wiser than the wisest person here in, in this plane of existence. So, I would like to, I don't know, just appreciate the horses, that's why I come serve, and I don't mind being a beast of burden, I don't mind uh, burdens, and I'll bear mine as best I can, and guys, if y'all want to give me yours, I'll take your cross for you, and even Jesus needed help carrying his cross, so, are we any better than our maker? I don't think so, so but, ah, ah, come on, be nice guys, um, you know, teach their own, though, right? I mean, it's it's not for everybody to do what I'm doing. But we all just serve humbly in the best ways that we're created and designed to. We just do the best we can. But if you get into the word like these guys are getting into these uh, milkweeds, uh, they're ready to bite fingertips off to get there. The cookie was eating my, my dang Bible. So uh, she ate Pena's, part of Pena's letter, which isn't a bad thing, but... Alright, anyways, our Heavenly Father, we just come before you so thankful for these beasts that you've created for our dominion, that we have dominion over them. And in that, Father God, we just thank you. Uh, we've been bad stewards of our domin dominion, or your dominion. And in that bad stewardship, God, it's uh, judgment's coming, then correction, or correction first, then judgment, then wrath. We're not appointed to wrath. And I just thank you for that. Thank you for selecting and electing me to salvation. Thank you for using me to help others find salvation or to find um, a, a truer, straighter walk with you. And if anybody just gets, if one person gets anything out of any of these, God, then I hope that it makes you as happy as it makes me. Uh, I'm here to but serve you and serve humbly your children. And let's walk together, God. Uh, walk with me. No Hail Mary, just walk with me, and I'll walk with you, and humbly, I'll put my right hand out to the believer, and I'll put my left hand out to the non-believer in an unconditional love, mercy, grace, and everything else that is good and Godful for your gain. God, we just want to serve and please you. Amen.